What's going on guys, Josh here from Momentum Productions and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a follow focus unit on your Crane 2 gimbal. This is the follow focus system, it now comes included with your Crane 2 gimbal purchase. So if you're interested, go ahead and check out the link for it in the description box below. Now if you're new to my channel, make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on and hit that like button. For those of you who don't know, you can use a follow focus unit to help control your focus by using the built-in focus style on your Crane 2 gimbal. You can also install the follow focus unit on your zoom ring and control zoom as well. So in our follow focus package, we're going to have the follow focus servo, rail, rail connector, and a tool. We also have the power cable that powers up the servo and you can use the original Crane 2 connection cable to connect to your camera. So you'll power the follow focus and you can also power up your camera and control it. So first things first, I do recommend that you balance your camera without the follow focus servo first. If you need help on balancing your camera, go ahead and check out this video right here. Once your camera has been balanced, we are ready to start the setup process. First things first, attach the follow focus connection rod. All we have to do is take the smaller connection piece first and install it in the necessary area. Believe it or not, this is the trickiest part in the installation because you need to hold everything with basically one hand. You need to hold the rail and the screw and use the Allen key at the same time to help tighten up the nut. You also wanna make sure that the rail fits snugly onto the gimbal. It has necessary cutouts to make this happen. Once you've done that, you can attach the extension rail. Just screw it on. Then tighten it up with your Allen key. Make sure it's good and tight. Now during this process, you are going to be adding more weight to the front of your setup, so your camera will slowly become unbalanced. Don't worry, we're gonna handle that in just a moment. Next, we're gonna attach our follow focus gear. Go ahead and wrap it around your zoom ring or your focus ring. Make sure it's good and tight. So since Sony lenses have infinite focus rings without any hard stops, I'm gonna be making sure that this part of the focus gear does not interfere with the servo. Next, we're gonna attach the rail mount onto the focus servo. Just slip it on, then tighten it up. Now we can slip it onto the rail. You may have to loosen up the tightener just a little bit in order for it to slip on properly. Now attach the gear to the focus servo. Make sure that both the teeth on the gear on the servo and the actual gear on the focus ring match up properly. Once the teeth have been lined up and matched properly, we can tighten up the servo. Feel free to test this out by hand to make sure that the gears grip on properly. Next, we can connect our control cables. Don't forget that one goes to the servo and one to your camera, so don't mix those up. Start off by connecting the focus servo cable to the pitch motor on the Crane 2 gimbal. Also make sure to properly wrap these cables around your camera and gimbal so it doesn't interfere during your shoot. If your cables have been set up properly, don't worry, you'll still be able to charge and control your camera via the gimbal. Once everything has been attached, we can rebalance the camera. Feel free to move the follow focus servo as well to help out with your balance. Now we can turn on the gimbal to make sure everything is working properly. And there we go. That's how you attach your follow focus. Now once everything has been set up properly, I do recommend that you put on A and B points, which is basically a start point and an end point for your zoom control or focus control. That way you won't over torque the gears. Now for some of you, you may have to install new firmware for your follow focus servo. So I'm gonna leave a link for you guys to check out to download that firmware. So look in the description box for that. Now to set A and B points, all we have to do is go into our gimbals menu, go down to wheel and select it. Then go down to A and B points. Set your start point. Once you set your start point, select A. Your start point has now been selected. Now go to your end point and select B. And that's it. Now we have start and end points. See, I'm not allowed to go beyond the start or end points. Now for some lenses, there are hard stops, but I wouldn't recommend going beyond those because that can over torque the gears and damage your servo motor. So make sure that those A and B points are set up. You can also even damage your lens because this servo can be pretty strong. All right guys, that's it for me. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.